video, we discuss the ability of the Citara AM335X ARM processors to support the entire industrial automation system. It's a single scalable platform that can bring significant innovation to three different end equipments, industrial HMI, PLC, and I.O. devices such as sensors, motor drives, and gateways. In this video, we'll look at how Texas Instruments is making the development around these exciting processors quick and easy. To get to production quickly, our customers need complete certified system solutions and development platforms. TI has developed three such tools for use in industrial markets. The first tool is the Industrial Communications Engine, or ICE. It's optimized for cost as well as size, especially for I.O. devices such as sensors needing to support industrial slave communications such as EtherCAT, Ethernet IP, Profinet, and many others. For $99, this tool comes with production-ready certified software and makes adding industrial communications as easy as programming a UART or SPI interface. The second tool is the Industrial Development Kit, or IDK, which enables our customers not only to evaluate industrial communications, but also motor control applications. You can use AM335X or an optional C2000 DSP on this kit to spin the motors. Priced at $895, this kit has several high-performance options such as DDR, NAND flash, safety circuitry with TI Cortex M3 solutions to evaluate applications such as industrial PLCs and server drives. For applications requiring a larger display with uh, touchscreen capability, operating systems such as Linux, WinCE, and Android, customers can use our third tool, AM335X Evaluation Module, priced at $995. We see a lot of potential in the industrial market for the Citara AM335X product family. TI has invested in delivering a robust set of software and tools to complement this new platform. These are all available for our customers now and we are fully confident they can help you bring greater innovation in the industrial automation space quickly and easily. Thanks for watching. 